Hi, my name is Lily McNeilis. I'm the head of outbound product management and strategy for Vertex AI at Google Cloud. Thank you for joining us at Next. Today, we're going to talk about how Vertex AI is now even easier for developers and how these advancements help enterprises to deploy more models, gain valuable business insights, and fully realize the value of their ML investments. I'm thrilled that later in today's session, I'll be joined by Matt Ferrari of Wayfair and Jaime Espinosa of Twitter to discuss how each of their organizations have embraced Vertex AI to solve significant challenges and evolve their machine learning strategies. First, let's set the scene for the reality that most organizations are facing today with AI. Customers tell us and analysts confirm that almost half of ML models built never make it into production. When organizations aren't able to deploy their models, their hardworking teams have built, they can't realize the full value of their AI investments. This results in low ROI and a lack of willingness to continue investing in AI strategies from senior leadership. This leads to missed opportunities to actually use insights from AI to inform business decision and waste high value talent that can actually lead to retention issues in this very competitive job market. So what can organizations do to increase the number of models in deployment and actually see a return on their AI investments? According to McKinsey's 2020 The State of AI report, AI high performers, those seeing meaningful return, have standardized machine learning platforms for all stages of data science, data engineering, and machine learning workflows. Organizations who adopt end-to-end -end in in-house AI platforms are more likely to be successful in their implementation of machine learning to ease deployment and to realize the value of their investments more quickly. So how is Google helping customers navigate AI transformations and avoid common pitfalls? Google's commitment to our customer success means that we are investing in three focus areas to ease ML deployment in the enterprise. First, platform centralization and unification, bringing together the best of Google's AI development and deployment tools into a single unified workflow for our customers. Second, accelerating time to value. Our ML ops tooling allows you to monitor and adjust your deployed models faster and with better insights. Additionally, we're bringing to market a suite of AI solutions built to address the most common use cases. And lastly, trust and responsibility. We're continuing to lead in responsible AI and building tools to empower our customers to do the same. So let's dig into platform centralization and unification a little bit. Google Cloud offers a unified ecosystem of data and AI cap capabilities designed to make it easy for everyone to innovate. We connect the different types of data processing from planet scale OLTP systems to analytics, to data lakes, to data science, to business analytics. We connect the different roles that work with data and provide them a common platform to build upon. We enable an ecosystem of external data, partner and open source systems. And finally, we bring all this together with Vertex AI, a standardized end-to-end -end workflow to allow customers to truly realize the value of their data through AI. You may remember that at Google I.O. this year, less than five months ago, we announced Vertex AI, which is a unified AI platform. Vertex AI creates the connections in the data science workflow from a technical standpoint to fast track the path to ML innovation through collaboration Auto automation of mundane or redundant tasks and by integrating deployment and management tools to streamline ML ops. The very premise of Vertex AI was to unify Google's ML toolset and to make experimentation process faster, accelerate deployment, and to simplify model management with our ML ops features. We've seen real traction in customer adoption of Vertex AI. In comparison to previous versions of our AI platforms available for over five years, we have seen the following areas of growth between Vertex AI's general availability being announced in May 2021 and August 2021. The total volume of APIs on our platform has tripled. The volume of Vertex AI training has increased by one and a half times. And the volume of predictions on our entire platform has doubled since Vertex AI was announced in May. This also is seen, we've also seen a 2x increase in GPU hours for predictions. We have delivered on our promise to serve more predictions and deploy more models with Vertex AI. 
We know enterprises are often concerned that increasingly centralized workflows could come at the cost of governance and compliance issues. Google addresses this by building Vertex AI with security and compliance features built in. Many of those features highlighted in green that you see on the slide were in preview in May, and we're excited to share with you that they will be reaching general availability within the coming weeks. We wanted to highlight a few of these for you today. Vertex AI metadata tracks the inputs and outputs of an ML pipeline, as well as the lineage of artifacts, which can play a critical role in debugging and compliance. Once your model is in production, Vertex AI model monitoring alerts your data scientists to data drift or items which may need their supervision. This enhances the compliance and audibility of models. Vertex AI pipelines are reusable pipelines that help data scientists share components and iterate quickly. Vertex pipelines are built with a Python SDK, so you can author both KFP and TFX pipelines with ease. Our pipeline service is completely serverless, allowing you to scale up or down as you need, it, as you need to without having to worry about managing infrastructure. ML engineers are already using Vertex AI pipelines to move faster from prototype to production and to further accelerate time to value. For more advanced workloads, enterprises can now use Vertex AI neural architecture search to optimize neural networks. And they can use our Vertex AI matching engine service, which gives the ability to quickly and efficiently look up nearest neighbor embeddings for recommendations and search need without the need for human intervention. Data science is a transformational investment for many customers and, ha and has continued to evolve as AI and data have become even more tightly integrated in the enterprise. Customers want seamless experiences across business units and want a unified data and ML experience. So today we're pleased to announce a public preview of our Vertex AI Workbench, a natural evolution of Google's notebook offerings to respond to the ever-changing needs of our customers. Vertex AI Workbench is a single environment for data scientists to complete all of their ML work, from experimentation to deployment to managing and monitoring models. It is a Jupyter-based, fully managed, scalable, enterprise-ready compute infrastructure with easily enforceable policies and user management. With Vertex AI Workbench, data analysts, data scientists, and all data and AI practitioners can analyze all of their data from BigQuery, Dataproc, Spark, Looker, and Vertex AI all in one interface. Vertex AI Workbench facilitates data to training at scale with fewer lines of code and easy connectivity to our MLOps services to improve model survivability at the critical handoff point to ML engineers. Using Vertex AI Workbench, you can implement your continuous integra integration, training, and deployment workflows. Additionally, through our partnership with NVIDIA, developers will have the ability to deploy Vertex AI Workbench notebooks from NVIDIA NGC with a single click. NVIDIA's NGC is a hub for GPU-optimized AI software, including frameworks, models, SGK, SDKs, and Jupyter Notebooks. A number of our customers are already using Vertex AI Workbench to ease ML deployment and support their company's transformations. So we're thrilled to include two of these customers to share their stories with us today. Twitter and Wayfair. Matt and Jaime, please could you introduce yourselves and share more about your organizations and your ML strategies? Sure, well, uh, thank you, Lily. My name is Matt Ferrari. I lead our MarTech and data and ML platforms organizations, both on the product and the engineering side. In terms of Wayfair, we're one of the world's largest home retailers. We serve just over 31 million active customers and we have over 22 million products. But often from the outside, we're seen as a retailer or a home goods company. The truth is we're much more. We have a very robust platform, one that scales across many countries and is really steeped in big data, ML, microservices, and many other technologies that we're gonna talk about today, all in the spirit of bringing world-class service to our customers. Awesome. And Jaime, can you share a little about yourself? Thank you. Um, uh, Twitter, I'm the lead PM for productizing ML. Uh, my team is called Cortex. It's tasked with accelerating the uh, development of machine learning across all of Twitter. Uh, we do this through research, applied ML, and we provide an end-to-end -end platform on which all of the ML at the company is uh, uh, created from ideation all the way into productization. 
Matt, could you tell us a little bit more about your cloud journey and the partnership with Google Cloud? And what were the key decision factors that you contemplated when making the decision to partner with Google Cloud? Sure. Uh, Wayfair started down the path with GCP a few years ago, was an early adopter across multiple GCP services, ranging from Kubernetes to BigQuery to Dataproc. And we were already partners with Google for our advertising business. But what we really looked at when we thought about GCP was an AI driven organization that's also a major player in the open source community and a thought leader in the ML space. And so we saw Google as a true technology partner and specifically were driven to their openness to provide feedback in helping influence GCP's roadmap. Beyond AI, the underlying products such as BigQuery, Dataproc, and now Vertex AI are examples of that. And it's just kind of the, the beginning of Wayfair diving into things like data velocity, quality, and data engineering as it applies to machine learning. Awesome. And Jaime, could you please tell us more about your transformational priorities for machine learning at Twitter and how GCP is helping you reach those transformational goals? Thanks. Um, across Twitter, there are many teams that are working together. And because of the complexity and the scale at which we're operating, there are many opportunities to leverage machine learning. Uh, our ML platform powers every stage of the ML project uh, from experimentation uh, all the way into productization and then maintenance, right, at the ML ops. Um, it is ultimately a hybrid system. It's uh, only able to be built because of the partnership that we have with GCP. Amazing. And Matt, what use cases or business problems were you looking to solve when you started working with Google Cloud and adopting Vertex AI? Sure. Uh, we envisioned a lot of use cases at Wayfair. They started in, in marketing and search and recommendations. Think about how can we make sure you're, you're searching for the right product and then recommendations, you know, moving forward. We thought about product catalog, supply chain, and even end-to-end -end customer service. And we thought, look, all of that can benefit from machine learning and, and in turn Vertex AI. In fact, even though it's still early phases of that journey, there's already parts of that ML lifecycle that, you know, that really sing that today, you know, for example, really kind of, we, we built it on the principles of how do we make ML at Wayfair easier? Um, that means, you know, examples would be, how do we accelerate time to value for new models by reducing the model training duration of each development iteration? We also thought about how do we reduce friction? while we're building and deploying models at scale while still increasing reliability and speed of how do we retrain jobs to make sure that data scientists can focus on data science work. And then we really focused on how do we enable ML in the fabric of how we make decisions for the business. So how do we intertwine it into our strategic objectives across Wayfair? And our early results have been really positive. The truth is that we have a lot of very large model training jobs that are between five and 10 times faster at this point. And we've, we've gotten feedback from our data scientists that they specifically like all of the hyper parameter tuning available to them. And on that point, what is, the mo what is most important to you and your data scientists when you focus on deploying ML models at scale? Sure. Uh, so I would tell you that before, it would, if I inter in in interviewed them, they would say it was really around data quality and duplication of data or lack of integrity of data. Hey Matt, I don't trust the data or I, I have data sprawl everywhere. And what we really focused on there is how do we drive time to value for new models and model enhancements? How do we focus on quality of predictions that drive business impact? And then finally, how do we automate as much as possible in a post deployment model from a monitoring and tuning perspective. Awesome, and I'm curious, Jaime, what is most important to you and your data scientists when you focus on deploying ML models at scale at Twitter? Because Twitter has a unique and incredible impact on the world, uh, maybe because of this fact, we are growing very fast. Uh, as Twitter grows, uh, so does the diversity of the talent that, that it brings in, and so does the diversity of thought, uh, the diversity of techniques and tools. It's actually very important for us to maintain in order to be fair as uh, and to learn from each other. Uh, Twitter offers also a unique opportunity to work deeply across multiple ML fields. Uh, this also 
uh, translates into how we represent data, how we, what kinds of system requirements we have. Uh, we have found that uh, flexibility is really the key to empower our talent. Um, it is, uh, I think it's, it's very common uh, for us, uh, for anybody that we are trained with particular type of tools and techniques. And, and these are the the things that makes, uh, that we're very familiar with and it is what makes us the most productive and being able to provide this within the ML platform, uh, we have found is the best way to uh, enable everybody to be as, product, uh, as productive as possible. Great, and you just mentioned a few, but are there any other key learnings that you would like to share with other organizations um, that you've come across as you continue, continue to scale to the magnitude you're currently operating at? Absolutely. Um, well, first, uh, give you a sense for, for scale. Uh, Twitter operates at a mind-blowing scale and a mind-blowing speed. Uh, these, and these are requirements that continue to grow uh, very steadily. Over, I'll, I'll share a bit, uh, over my career, I've worked in about uh, in eight platforms, uh, six of which were ML platforms. This were across Intel, Microsoft, Algorithmia, and now at Twitter. And, out of all this experience, I can honestly say that Twitter pushes the envelope on almost every boundary. Uh, and um, it is based on, on that experience that uh, we've, we've seen some, some key learnings. And this include the, addition, the, the increasing importance of the co-design of the ML models and the infrastructure. Uh, both of these need to to have a sort of balance between them. So when we think of the end-to-end -end platform, it has to strike a balance that balances out the infrastructure, the technology, with the ML, and ultimately the business. Um, so uh, one of the biggest uh, predictors for success for a project has been uh, how that how well does the talent understand both the ML and the infrastructure uh, and uh, as a, for PMs additionally we also are looking to for understanding of the business and the product the product design some base product design now. so um, it is uh, some of some of these things that we're trying to address or or simplify with our ML platform, in which we abstract out some of that infrastructure. We make it easier through through tools. We make it flexible, and uh, so that we can better focus on the ML, the building of these models. Awesome, that makes a ton of sense, and I think that's exactly how we hope folks are thinking about the advantages that Vertex AI can bring to their organizations. Matt, can you share a little bit more about how Vertex AI helped with your needs and how easy it was to get started? Sure. Uh, so, so far to baseline, we've adopted Vertex AI Workbench and AI training components across the Vertex platform. Both of those components have accelerated our adoption of highly scalable model development and training capabilities with a real focus on, you know, are they purpose built and at scale for, for Wayfair's needs? We've got really enthusiastic, enthusiastic adoption from our own data science community. You know, for example, to put some numbers behind it, we rolled out Vertex AI Workbench uh, a few months ago, and over a period of 30 days, already had more than 100 users on the platform, spanning across 35 projects. And candidly, it's growing constantly. Um, in, in terms of ease, I would say that we have an, an ML platforms organization that specifically built accelerators for our data scientists to adopt these components easily, such as integrations into our internal provisioning solutions, along with sample code or automatically created DAGs that utilize AI training platform within existing Airflow DAGs. Amazing. We're so excited to hear that you're already having so much success with Vertex AI Workbench. And at Google, we're thrilled to contribute to the transformational ML journeys of both Twitter and Wayfair. Thank you both so much for your time today and for sharing your insights. And thanks to everyone for watching and tuning in.